I'm Supriya Prasanan, Head of Legal for Ericsson Malaysia, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh. I'm here to tell you a story about the Connected Mangroves Project, which is the first of its kind in the world. It all began in 2015 as a project to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Ericsson Malaysia. 50 employees volunteered to plant 200 mangrove saplings in a coastal community at Kampung Dato Hormat, Sabah Pernam in Selangor. It was there that we saw firsthand the devastating effects of the mangrove deforestation to the environment. And when we asked the community about the planted saplings, they said maybe 30% would survive and reach maturity. So as a technology leader, we decided to help and we partnered up with an, a local NGO, a sensor partner, and we brought up this new project called the Connected Mangrove, where we install sensors and cameras to monitor real-time information about the soil, the water, the weather conditions, as well as the risk to the mangroves. Based on these data they generated, the local community has been able to take timely interventions, increasing the survival rate from a 30% to 80%. The saplings have grown so much that it's actually covering our sensors and the solar panel. It is so wonderful for us to see the wider effect of this project. The ecosystem of the mangrove is thriving and for example, crab fishing has re-emerged as a form of the livelihood for the local community. And the forest is now protecting the erosion and the flooding for that community. And we have an empowered community who believes in this mangrove. We are also honoured to have received the United Nations Momentum for Change Award for this project in recognition of its impact Ericsson's technology has had to the environment and to community. What makes me really, really happy about this project is the power of technology for good. Imagine if we could reverse the negative impacts on the environment. With projects like these, it's possible.